Is this fast-paced action anime about two girls with opposite personalities worth your time? What are its faults? It has a few. And is it your vibe? Let's get right into it. Lycoris Recoil is a thriller and sometimes character drama with some really well animated fights. It has a fascinating modern day world with some cyberpunk aspects. The story revolves around a secret organization that keeps the peace with trained assassins called Lycoris that are all girls because anime. There are plenty of reasons to love this anime, and most of the reviews I've seen on this were positive. However, after the first episode, I was very disappointed. The action is amazing with great choreography that is fast-paced and lets you see and comprehend everything going on, but the fights so far are very weightless. Some things I dislike are definitely because of personal preference, such as the characters, I'll talk about them in a minute, but the main problem I see from the first episode especially is its pacing. We are introduced to the world world with its secret, somewhat shady organization that keeps the peace with these brainwashed assassins. They show us the main character and her team, her making a decision that she wasn't supposed to, getting taken from main HQ, and sent to another Lycoris for this mistake, then trying to develop their relationship while expanding on this new Lycoris's deal and connection to HQ, while also sending them on another mission, introducing a villain, maybe two, and setting up the next episode. It was way too much crammed into 24 minutes. It could have easily been twice the length and been so much better. If we got more development from Takina and her group before she was kicked out, it would have set up her motivation and events that happen in later episodes, which would have made them so much more satisfying. Episodes 2 and 3 were much better paced, but the fourth episode was extremely slow, with most of its runtime following the main characters going shopping for panties. It seemed like a really quality show, but these inconsistencies make me a little worried about the longevity of it. The main characters are Takina, the cold robotic Lycoris, who only ever thinks about rules and being the best at her job, despite the first thing we saw her do was break protocol and act on her own judgment, and Chisato, the very loose and lax character who wants to have fun every day and has been in this program too long to really care about the rules and regulations. With their worldviews being so different, they kind of clash as you see Takina start to loosen up, and I just don't really care about either of them. Neither of them feel like real people to me. Chisato is supposed to be funny, I think, but none of the gags around her has made me laugh once, and she is mostly a little annoying, while Takina is boring. Each one feels generic and empty. This complaint is me specifically. I don't think it is necessarily the fault of the show that I don't like the characters. However, sometimes it feels like they're written to tell the audience that they are cute, so you're supposed to like them, because... They are cute. And these moments are pretty cringe. Their character designs are boring, especially Takina, even though a lot of the other casts are very unique. I don't know why they decided to make them look so dull, except that they figured people would like anime girl. Despite all this, when Chisato went into action, it gave me chills. It was super cool to see her switch from being all upbeat and happy to serious and dangerous. The fact that she doesn't want to kill and bandages up her enemies that are hurt during the fights is a really cool aspect. There are good things here, but a lot of it left me wanting more, and not in a good way. Despite the pacing being all over the place, and the characters being not my favorite, the show is pretty good. The world is very interesting, and the small amount of the thriller plot has been really engaging. And for actual fan service, the show has basically none, even during the panty shopping episode. So is Licorice Recoil worth watching? If it can settle on the story it wants to tell, then yes, it will be great. If you like anime girls with guns, half slice of life, half action thriller, you'll probably enjoy this anime, but generally, I'd recommend waiting until it is finished. I think this one is going to be a better binge than a week to week. I hate it when shows names make absolutely no sense unless you've watched it. Like, the title is supposed to get me to want to watch the show, but it's just dumb. Lycoris Recoil? At least try to sound cool. Stupid anime. Thank for watching, comment, like, subscribe, watch video on end screen. I am Weez, jam me out.